Shoo Woo Productions presents The Detectives. These are very special items. These are devices which detect smoke. Check that out. That view. Stunning. Isn't it? What do we see here? It's a Gentex smoke detector. Model 710CC. This one made on April the 28th, 1998. I was only seven years old then. You may notice that these smoke detectors do not mention anything about radioactive material. And that is because these are photoelectric smoke detectors. These two I have not tested yet. They need a special plug and I do not have the connector for them. These were required at a flea market for $3 each. I got three of these detectors. Here's one of them opened up. I would like to compare two of them because one of them is slightly earlier. This one is from 1997. And if you look inside, you'll see there is only one LED. And you see some of the circuitry inside there. But the other two from 1998 have two LEDs, but they're a pain to get apart because of this screw right here. A screw which I like to call a square. You may not be able to see it very well, but it's not Phillips and it's not flat. It is a square. And I was able to get it with this flathead screwdriver here, but it's screwed in very very tight and I had a hard time getting this screw out and the screw in that one I can't even get to budge at all I have previously tested the detector with hooking up a 9 volt DC power supply across the two terminals there labeled B- minus and B+. Plus. But these machines don't normally run on a 9 volt battery, at least not this, these, the 710cc. There's other versions, I believe, that do run on a 9 volt battery. So I will, I will go ahead and permanently affix an AC cord to one of these and solder it on the inside. And of course the detector will have to be operated with the case together because there is no transformer on these. There's no power transformer. There's a capacitor here to drop down the voltage as well as a power resistor. And so it's not isolated from the AC line. So we'll run the cord through the bottom and it connects here and here. The other wires go to the relay switches for interconnected detectors, but we're only worried about the 120 volt connections here and here. Okay, I have the wires soldered on here now. <clears throat> and I took off the detection chamber 
cover, which is very important that it is in place for the detector to operate. And you can see how the, excuse me, photo, to, photo electric smoke detector works. There's an infrared LED and a photodiode. I'm not sure which one is which in this case. I'm thinking, I'm not sure if that is the LED or not. I'm thinking that might be the LED and that's a photodiode. But anyway, they are shining away from each other and when smoke comes in, it reflects the light back onto the detector and that's how it knows that there is smoke. can see an integrated circuit down inside there a little. The test button simply rotates this piece down here and therefore reflects the light to simulate smoke. And here is an overall view of the smoke detector's circuit board. cord has been installed. The detector is now plugged in. The power light is on as you can see. Now I'm going to perform a test. I don't know if you could hear a relay, but the relay clicked off right after the alarm turned off. The LED will flicker whenever it's detecting smoke. And for the first little bit of smoke, just the LED flickers and the alarm does not go off. And then, if it detects it again, the alarm goes off. And that's to help prevent false alarms. For instance, the kitchen. It's cigarette smoking. I have to kind of prop the cell phone camera up since, uh, since I can't use a tripod with it, obviously. But I'm going to try to see if I can use the uh, smoke that comes from a soldering iron to set it off. Over nothing. Oh, that's blinking now. There it goes. Oh, that is beautiful. It looks like the smoke coming out of the detector. Pretty loud. Pretty loud. Pretty impressive. You don't want to touch the two of the terminals on the back there though, because that can then give you a 120 volt shock. But anyway, yeah, we got ourselves a working photoelectric. Oh, there's still some uh, smoke from the iron, apparently. I couldn't even see it, but it set the alarm off. So. Just in case you couldn't hear what I said there, I, once the alarm started going off yet again, I said there's still some smoke from the iron, but I couldn't see it. But interestingly enough, even though it was so faint I couldn't see it, the detector was able to pick it up. Maybe it might have been trapped inside there. 
<coughs> blow it out <sighs> if there's any left. The LED still or was going off rapidly. <sighs> that is quite something, the smoke detector. Very pleased with the smoke detector. It'd be nice if I had the connector for them from the get-go to be able to install them easily. Obviously this isn't the best way to install an AC cord to have it kind of pushed up in there. It's kind of a hassle to get the circuit board back in there with the cord sticking out, but I managed to get it in there. And it works. It's able to detect smoke. And the alarm goes off. Just one more time, just for the thrill of it. Put it on the side. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. It should be kind of blowing. Oh, there it goes. It blinked just... No, that was... The, never mind. Uh, never mind, not, not that side of it. That won't work actually. That side of it's blocked on the chamber. Yeah, it keeps wanting to not go in the smoke detector, so it's kind of hard to waste and solder. I have a lot of solder. Oh, as I'm going to drop down. Oh, it's blinking fast. It's about to go off. Yeah, and of course since there wasn't enough there, it finally went off on its own because it was not a continuous stop. There's still enough there that it went off again, so we got ourselves a good usable smoke detector, good for fire protection, for warning of a fire. It's a good detector, it works well. Um, I'm imagining the others probably work fine too. And just in case you do get one of these detectors and you maybe have the connector, the particular pins that are the 120 volt pins I found, no, they're going to touch them. I'm just going to point near them. Um, that bottom one there is kind of centered. And then that top right pin there. Those are the two 120 volt AC pins. Of course, this is not isolated. There is no power transformer. So you really don't want to have the thing apart whenever you have it plugged in. And not only that, but test two, it is normal when test two it does not make the alarm respond. The manual online says that if test 2 makes the alarm respond, it is too sensitive. That's right, too sensitive. And there is a, uh, there's a trim pot inside, which I, I haven't tried adjusting the trim pot, but I'm pretty sure it adjusts the sensitivity, so you could probably, if you want it to be, quote, too sensitive, where they said bring it for maintenance, you could probably adjust that trim pot because you know maybe in some situations you want it to be more sensitive than normal but anyway this is the Gentex 710cc photoelectric smoke detector from 1998 although the model originally I believe came out in 1984 because on the back it says Refer to owner's manual, dated June 1st, 1984.
So it came out in 84. Machine itself, is, or the unit itself, I'm used to saying machine because I, of the tape recorder videos. The unit itself is from, I don't know if I'd call this a machine. Machine seems more like it would be something mechanical. This is not mechanical, it's an optical and electronic device. This unit um, from 1998. I really like the square case. Of course, the one back there is from 97 with only one LED. And that one there is also from 98, like this one. They're very nice smoke detectors. They're well over 10 years old. You know, this popular thing they say, you replace your smoke detectors every 10 years. I would say this smoke detector stands the test of time very well. I did have to touch up the soldering joints and kind of reconnect where the power resistor was because the circuit board traces right next to it had come undone where they connected but I simply soldered over it and it works it's a good smoke detector um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video a while being a very long while but I don't know I just hadn't been in the let's upload a video mood lately and just in case it's still a long time before I upload this video, I will for the record say it is currently December 1st, 2014. And wouldn't it be ironic if this video wasn't uploaded till 2015, which is a possibility. But I was on the way back from Texas at a conference, Thanksgiving Day conference. Saw a big flea market called Kyle Flea Market big flea market. Part of it was outdoor, a lot of it was indoor. Big old flea market in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Looking for vintage tape recorders. Couldn't really find any vintage tape recorders. I found a couple boom boxes, but I wasn't interested in them. What? What? I'm making a video! Messed up the whole moment. Messed up the whole moment. I saw a Fisher-Price recorder there too, like the one I made a video of, but of course I already had that model. So those are the recorders I saw, and then I found a more modern 1990s shoebox recorder that I was not interested in. No reel-to-reels though, no portables that I was interested in, so. Uh, then I came across these smoke detectors and I was quite pleased. Hope you enjoyed this video.